Hi, it's Pat Patterson with the Best of California Award, and I can't believe what I've discovered. You've probably known about it forever, but it's the Southern California Railway Museum here in Paris. And I'm here with Gary Cochran, who's the lead docent at the museum, and grounds. I mean, this place goes on forever. How big is this place, Gary? Nearly 100 acres, totally. Wow, 100 acres. And it has actual trains. So tell me a little bit about how this all got started. Well, the uh, museum is dedicated to Western and Southern California railroading and streetcars. Okay. So we have a vast collection of both of those. Uh, we the have actual trains. When well, you said that, that the actual trains sit now. Oh yes, there. <laughs> and we have well over 200 pieces in our total collection. So there's a, a lot to see when you do come here. So I know the outdoors is open, the gift shop is open. What what about the displays inside oh, the museum? The, that is probably where 70, 75 percent of our exhibits are. But there's still a lot of things to see on the outside. This is like coming to a park. Correct. Yeah, yeah, we have two beautiful uh, park areas on our property that are open to the public to come and experience at no charge. Uh, they can bring a family and have a picnic, and a lot of people do that. In terms of people that come to the uh, museum, is it mostly locals, people from out of town? Do you have any idea of who, who enjoys this place? We're, we're known worldwide, and gets, we get more known every year, of course. But I have taken uh, guests around from China, Switzerland, Russia, uh, just about most any place you can think of. We've had people here to tour our facility. And Gary Cochran and I are doing a safe segment and we're in the Grizzly Flats barn. And when I think of Grizzly Flats, I don't know about you, but I think of Disney. Is there a connection, Gary? Actually, they, I've never had a complete story as to how this name came about. This, the collection in this building, the, the, most of the important parts of the collection were a gift to the museum by a gentleman named Ward Kimball. Mr. Kimball was an animator working with Walt Disney from the early 30s on, before there was the Disney Empire, uh, which made him a fairly wealthy man, and he spent a lot of his money on his railroad hobby because he loved railroads. So <clears throat> we are in a uh, collection that he accumulated over 50 years and in 1990 gave it all to our museum. We're now in one of the barns that has the working engines and a lot of the restoration here at the Southern California Railway Museum. So tell me what goes on in this wonderful barn. Well, we store a lot of restored cars in here and uh, we do uh, some minor restoration work in this building also. And it, uh, it is the storage facility for our working steam engine, our 1922 Baldwin locomotive. This is the one that comes out on the weekends and the people get to ride. Of, the third weekend of every month, uh, except for the hot season. Okay. Our, our ride tickets are all day tickets okay. and it's $12 for an adult and $8 for children ages uh, 5 through 11. And, and I assume like any place, any property that has big hobbyists, you've got to have a few railway nerds that show up almost oh, every weekend, right? We have a lot of railway <laughs> nerds. We used to have that at Disneyland. They go, there's Fred. He's been here every weekend. And, and besides, you're one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And are they, are, they, uh, are they grateful that you've preserved this history? Oh, yes, certainly. Uh, we have uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,300 uh, dues-paying members on our oh, rolls. That's awesome. And we have members from all over the world. And we're at the Descanso car that Gary, you told me about out front. This is Correct. the funeral car, and this Correct. dates from when? From 1909, and it stayed in service until about 1923, 24. Uh, <clears throat> the casket rides in the front, okay. and the car has a capacity for about 25 to 30 people. So this would be the family and coming. Yes, with and this the basically deceased. is a hearse. Uh, to take people from the funeral home or a private home to the cemetery, like a hearse does. It's so important, I don't know, this is my personal opinion, but it's so important that we still have Amtrak and we still have these this government-run rail service so that we can still use it and 
it might likely all come back as, as we learn from all the greenhouse gas and climate change that we need more efficient public transportation. And of course all of us uh, rail fans would love to see that happen, uh, but I don't know, people are pretty used to it and really enjoy getting from point A to point B in a very short time on an airplane. Yeah.